Hey guys, I'm Anthony with Simple Tech Talk where I help you get the most out of your Android device. And on this channel, we go over product reviews, app reviews, and go over simple tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Android. And on this episode today, we're gonna go over widgets, what they are, how they can help you, and also um, we went over an app that we downloaded on our last video called Greenify, and that's to help maximize your battery. If you haven't seen that video, I'll include a link in the description below so you can check that out. What we're gonna do with that is actually show you how to use the widget to activate that app whenever you need it. Let's get into it. All right guys, so before we get into the actual tutorial, just wanted to touch base a little bit about what widgets are. On your home screen of most of your Samsung devices, most people don't realize you're actually looking at widgets every day. So on the top left of your screen, you're gonna see the date and time. That's actually part of a widget. And on the right hand side of that same widget, you'll see your location and the weather. That's actually a weather widget. If you tap on that, it'll actually open up your weather application. And that's exactly what it is. It's actually an application that's giving you information directly on your home screen without you having to wait for it to load up. Most people download other weather applications and they really don't need to. The widget that comes standard on your Samsung device is actually provided by AccuWeather, if you know the name, and it's very accurate. You don't really need to add on any other weather apps um, additionally. Another type of widget that you see every day is your Google search bar that goes right across the left and right of your screen. That's actually a complementary application for your Chrome. So if you search the web typically using Google Chrome, that search bar is actually addition to Google Chrome. So that's exactly what they are. They are just an addition to the application. It allows you to get your information directly off your home screen without having to load in. One of the biggest ones that I ever recommend for people to do is uh, setting up a calendar widget. Separate uh, your home screen and adding a calendar widget to another home screen, you can get all your dates and appointments right on your home screen without waiting for your calendar application to load up. You can be talking to a friend on the phone or, or maybe even talking to a doctor's office and you're trying to make an appointment. You don't even have to go into the phone, go into the app and find the app, wait for it to load. You can actually see all of that right on your home screen. And we're gonna show you how to get some of that done and like I mentioned before, how to set up that Greenify widget. Let's get into that right now. All right guys, so here we are at our home page one more time. And um, you know, first let's talk about the widgets that I mentioned. So if we look up top here, that is our weather widget and right here, the Google search bar. And these guys are interactive and you can add information and change it. Once again, you know, they are an extension of the application. So if we tap on it, we will open up the weather application. Um, and these guys are definitely going to give you the information you need. And what's really nice is you can add new info. So let's say we were planning a trip out to Las Vegas. Uh, we can currently add Las Vegas and see what the weather is gonna be like today. It's gonna rain in the evening and uh, even see what the weekly forecast is gonna look like. And we can actually swipe through those different locations. And what's really nice is we can even swipe through on our home screen as well. You can also see our Google search bar as mentioned before. And if you tap on there, it'll bring you right into some searches. Um, we'll get into more detail about something like this as this is the um, Google Now feature that comes up with some Android devices and we'll go into that in another video. It's really nice to use, you can search right away without having to load up the application. So uh, let's get into adding some widgets and there's two ways you can do that. One way is finding a blank space in your screen and pressing and holding with your finger which will force the screen to kind of zoom out. You'll see your widget options in the bottom and you can actually add another home screen or what you can do is take two fingers and pinch inward and get the same effect. Move over to the plus sign and what we can do is add another home page to your home screen. Once there we can tap on widgets and you'll see uh, the widgets are actually in an alphabetical order which is really nice and you'll see greenify up there and um, what we'll do first, I just wanted to show you really quickly what I mentioned before is adding a calendar widget. And this is to make your, um, your phone a lot more efficient for yourself. And what we can do is we can tap on the little arrows and see ahead into a different month or so, or we can tap on the plus button and it brings us right into a new event page. And we can just make a new event. So uh, let's check out Simple Tech Talk. And what we can do is tell it when we want to have uh, this appointment and let's say um, we want to do that 
Well, today's the 27th. Let's say we want to do that on the 1st of March at 10 a.m. No problem. Uh, we can scroll up or down to change the hour and the time and the minutes and things of that nature, which is really cool. You can press done. You can actually set a notification reminder. So let's go one hour before. And if you know we see a couple of toggles, we can actually put the uh, event color. Maybe you want to make one more important than the other. And we just tap on save. So you kind of see a little highlight just pop up right there. And if we decide to hit the little arrow button to move to the 1st of March, we can actually see our little appointment that we've made. And in some cases, you can actually see the, the weather pop up on top of there. Swipe over and we'll go back into adding Greenify as promised. So what we do is press and hold on that blank space in the screen, open up widgets, scroll over to the G in Greenify, and I would like you to take note of the little arrow on the top. That arrow will give you some options. So we can do hibernate and lock screen, which will turn your screen off as it's running in the background, or we can just press and hold and grab on hibernate now. And you see, we see the grid of our homepage and we can actually drop that off anywhere we'd like. And being that this is a widget and not the application, when we tap on it, we should be able to see it shut down some applications like so done so we just shut down some apps that were running in our background and we've made the hibernate button through greenify a widget on our home screen and now we are ready for business stay tuned for more advanced tips on uh, advanced widgets on another video coming up soon thanks guys all right guys so i hope that video was very informative for you now remember you don't have to uh, set up your phone the way i'm setting this one up in these videos you can set them up any which way you can that's the whole idea of personalizing and customization you can do however you'd like you know if you're feeling like you want to challenge yourself go right onto the play store and tap in the word widgets in that search bar and also uh, type in a word in front of widgets so if you want to do like a calculator widget you can definitely do something like that and personalize how that calculator works for you maybe you're an accountant and you want to have access to a calculator right away whatever it may be remember try to challenge yourself and try to personalize your video the way you can if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button thumbs up and like this video if it worked out for you and uh hit the little bell if you want to keep up with any of my newer videos thanks again for watching and have a great day peace And on this episode, see, app reviews and tipple, <laughs> temple tips and tricks. All right. Hey guys, I'm Anthony with Simple Tech Talk. And on this channel, I'll be screwing up my intro. <laughs> what are you going over in this video? You'll see. <laughs>